Hello and welcome back to the channel, but just in case you're new here, my name is Mike and in this video I got another figure review for you all, but I'm going to be reviewing something a little bit different than I've done here before on the channel, but just because it's different doesn't mean it's not amazing and this is one of the coolest things I've ever purchased and I'm so glad to have it now in my collection. So in today's video, we're going to be opening, reviewing, and talking all about Trick or Treat Studios Art the Clown Terrifier 12 inch figure. All right, this is 1 6 scale. This is absolutely amazing, and it is a limited edition version. We'll talk more about that in the next little segment here. But um, I can't wait to get this out of the box. I've been waiting for each and every one of you to do it along with me. So without further ado, let's get into Terrifier Art the Clown Trick or Treat Studios right now. Let's slice right into it. All right, everybody, here we are taking a look at the Trick or Treat Studios 1 6 scale Art the Clown figure. So excited about this one. Can't wait to get it out. I've had it for a few days now, but I've been waiting to open it right here on the channel. So, of course, let's take a look at the box. The top says Damien Leone's Terrifier 1 6 scale Art the Clown figure. And this one is really cool because I went ahead and got the um, what's called the Selfie Murder Edition. You can see the little sticker here. So what it is, is it's just a more limited um, edition of the uh, Terrifier figure. Trick or Treat Studios makes two versions. The Selfie Murder Edition and then the regular. This one is just covered in blood. And, um, well, as I've said before, blood makes everything better. So I had to have it. Trick or Treat Studios logo down there in the corner. The side of the box, uh, pretty standard Terrifier. Um, and the back of the box is also really cool too. Happens to go right with my red walls here in my horror room. Um, same thing, David Leone's Terrifier. Um, the 1-6 scale Art the Clown figure. Really, really great shot of David in the makeup as Art the Clown. Absolutely love that. Um, just looking just absolutely phenomenal. The black and the red. It kind of offsets him, um, obviously, from his black and white costume in the movie and soon to be Terrifier 2. So, and down in the bottom it says age 17 plus. So, we should be good with that. Let's open it up. This is a box that will open. And you will see on the right, I'm sorry, excuse me, the left here, Art the Clown covered in blood. Again, another shot from Terrifier. Absolutely amazing. One of the creepiest killers we have in all of horror. But I'll talk more about uh, my opinion on Terrifier and the franchise, and especially this character in another Terrifier video. This one is all about the figure. Uh, the glare, all you get to see is me. Um, so you can't really see too much of Art. But as you can see, he's got some interchangeable hands. The hacksaw in the famous kill. And then, of course, he's covered in blood. And, of course, he's got his little top hat. So, to get a better look at him, I can't wait. You can't wait. Let's get him out of the box and take a closer look. All right, everybody. Here he is outside of his box once again. I apologize for him being so far away from the camera. But this guy stands at about 12 inches tall. So, um, back when I was a kid, I used to play a lot with G.I. Joes and Army Guys and 12-inch you know, uh, terrorists and all this kind of cool stuff, you know. So um, this guy's right along uh, that size scale. So he's a little bit farther back from the camera, but don't worry, I'm going to pull him closer to get some more shots and, of course, look at his detail. So let's take a look at the uh, figure himself, shall we? So this is the Trick or Treat Studios um, Art the Clown. Like I said, this is the Selfie Murder Edition. Um, if you get the regular edition, it's like um, a little bit cheaper, but you won't get any of the blood or anything on your figure. Um, but I took a little bit, I took a little look at art before I'm um, obviously turning the camera on, but, um, I will say by far the best thing about this figure is his face sculpt and just how amazing it looks. The blood, his eyes, his teeth, they even got the little black on the nose, his little hat kind of sitting off to the side. Um, I really do think it is the best thing about this figure by far is this head sculpt. You see the blood uh, speckles on his head all over his pullover uh, top thing there. His cap, if you will. Um, love the blood stains all over his outfit. Um, looks super cool. His blood stained hands is another real fun part of this figure. As you can see, look at his fingertips there. The blood splatters all over his gloves. Really, really great detail on the hands and the face love that 
Um, both hands are the same in terms of just detail and awesome, awesome paint schemes. Movie accurate as well. Obviously, they worked directly with Damien and, uh, and David on this. So you're going to get nothing but the best Art the Clown here. Um, down at the bottom here, um, more blood. He kind of scrunches off at the ankles and the wrists with his outfit. And, of course, he's got his big old clown boots on which look kind of goofy because it almost looks like a regular boot and then just completely just goes off the rails with the clown shoes but you know what maybe that's how they were in the movie i assume they were um if that's what this is so you got his big old clown shoes now in terms of this guy standing i'm not quite sure yet um i've been lucky i've been able to get him to stand pretty well just like that um but Trick or treat studios does make this a terrifier um, figure stand if you want it to go with your figure if you decide to get this or if you already have one um, and again articulation wise for this figure is pretty amazing actually you guys down here I mean he's got full rotation on the ankles um, uh, maybe even like a little seesaw action um, of course bends uh, bends at the knees um, his whole leg turns his, his thigh turns completely poseable completely bendable his shoulders are complete circles they got the boulder joints in there. Um, I wouldn't recommend fully rotating it because the cloth doesn't seem to be the strongest thing in the world on this figure. Because remember, kids, this is a collectible. This is not an action figure. It's not a toy. This is very much a collectible. So I wouldn't overwork him, but he does bend at the arms. If you want to make some of his classic poses from the film, whatever you want him to do, um, he can probably do it. The articulation on this figure is pretty insane. But like I said, um, it doesn't feel the greatest. Even the uh, the underbody, the plastic underbody that he has doesn't feel to be the strongest in the world because, again, this is a collectible. This is not made to be thrown around and played with. Um, on the back of the figure, there's this little zipper if you want to take his suit off for whatever reason. Um, I don't know why you would, but in case you do, I don't know, you know, to each their own, you know, I don't judge. Um, but, again, the zipper seems kind of, seems kind of, not cheap, but it seems a little, um, little sketch there. Um, so I don't want to mess with it. I don't want to break it. Um, his little cotton puff balls on the front here. I don't know how they're staying on. I don't want to mess with them too much because I don't want to break the figure before I, I'm able to. I'm able to get him on display. But overall, this figure is absolutely phenomenal, and I just love it to death. And we got a couple little accessories to go over to you guys. We got the alternate hands. If you want art to hold anything, you can get his alternate hand here. And look at this. If you know the movie, you remember the scene when he holds the scalpel. You could recreate that pose from the film. And of course, one of the best kills in all of horror history. It The movie is almost known for this at this point. If you know, then you know. Art comes with his famous hacksaw and yes this will be in his hand when i display my art because how the hell could it not be as cool as this is i love this i love that it's a part of um of this figure i love that's an that it's an accessory but uh hacksaw all the way so again i hope you guys enjoyed this closer look at trick or treat studios art the clown again this is the selfie murder edition it is available now but as far as the limited edition version i know that there is limited quanti uh, quantities of him so if you want them go get them but there's always the original two both are super cool thanks y'all and of course, I want to say thank you all so very much for watching. It really, really does mean the world to me. And I also would really appreciate you guys if you'd go down in the comment section below and let me know what you think about the Trick or Treat Studios Art the Clown figure. Do you have this figure? Do you plan on getting this figure? What are your thoughts about it? The good, the bad, and the ugly. I want to know down in the comment section below. You guys, Terrifier 2 is right around the corner. And I want you all to know that it is getting select movie theater releases. So do yourself a favor and do Terrifier a favor. Go to Google and type in Terrifier 2 tickets and see if there's a theater near you playing um, Terrifier 2. Go see it in the theater on the big screen once in a lifetime, man. It's over two hours long. I cannot wait. I already got my tickets. So let me know down below in addition to the figure, are you going to go see Terrifier 2 in the theaters? I'm dying to know. Let's talk about it.
So again, I want to say thank you, and I also want to point you guys in the direction of the Facebook horror community that I created for all of us, right? Because it's not about me, it's about us. So if you want a place to go where you can talk about your passions of, of horror, and you want to talk about movie trailers, or you want to talk about your YouTube channel, you want to promote some things, you want to talk about funny memes, you want to just post your collection, your daily pickups, whatever it might be, I got a great place for you to go. All you got to do is go on to Facebook and type in, this is our design HC. My wife or myself will accept you right away and you can start talking some bloody good shit. So, again, thank you all so very much for watching. October is going to be a big, big, big month this year. Um, not only for the channel, but for horror fans all over the world, man. We're getting Art the Clown, we're getting Michael Myers, we're getting Pinhead, and we're getting Chucky. All gracing our screens in the same month, you guys. And I also have big, big plans for October. I don't want to say them now because y'all know how my luck is. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say something now and something's going to happen and I won't be able to commit to it. But trust me, if everything goes according to plan, it's going to be a big, fun, exciting month here on the channel. Um, for October. I have some really, really cool stuff planned, and you can bet we're going to talk about all those great releases. So again, I want to say thank you all so very much for watching. I really look forward to hearing from all of you and talking to you soon, possibly in a live stream. It's coming. I don't know when, but it's coming. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Again, my name is Mike, and this is my design.